Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. Now the football season has officially started. The Buccaneers faced off against the Cowboys last night where the Buccaneers end up winning 31-29. But that's not what this video is about. It's about some other news that came out last night. Gus Edwards and Marcus Peters will miss the whole season with injuries. That's not good. Especially after J.K. Dobbins and Justin Hill, the first and third string running backs, are going to miss the whole season as well. So the top three running backs for the Ravens are all going to miss the season with injuries. And one of the best cornerbacks in the league, and Marcus Peters as well. So it all started in the final quarter of the final game of preseason when J.K. Dobbins towards ACL. And honestly, this is really disappointing, especially for J.K. Dobbins, because he was coming into his sophomore season, expected to have a huge leap, huge breakout season, and now he's going to miss the whole season. But for the Ravens, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, because they had Gus Edwards, who should be a starting running back, in this league. He's better than so many of them. They also had Justice Hill, who's a capable backup running back. But then the news came out a couple weeks later that Justice Hill had a season ending Achilles injury. They still haven't really specified which injury it is, but he's going to miss the whole season. So the Ravens proceed to waive Justice Hill because there's no reason to have Justice Hill who hasn't been amazing on the roster when he's going to miss the whole season. Then, last night, the news came out that Gus Edwards and Marcus Peters both tore their ACLs in practice. So... For Gus Edwards, this is bad because he was expected then to have a great season because the Ravens have a great rushing attack. I personally believe that any running back can really succeed in that offense. So Gus Edwards would finally be a starter in this league. But no, he's going to miss the whole season. And for the Ravens, this is also very bad. Because they rely a lot on the rushing attack. And they just lost their top three running backs. Their, their best running back was Tyson Williams. Who is definitely not a capable starter in the NFL. Now for Marcus Peters, that was also really bad. Because Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters form arguably the top cornerback duo in the league. And they lost Marcus Peters now. But they still do have Marlon Humphrey. And Don Martindale is a defensive genius. So I'm sure that one won't create a huge impact. Now, obviously, the Ravens were in need of a running back now. So, first of all, they brought... Trenton Cannon from the practice squad to the active roster. And they signed Devonta Freeman and Le'Veon Bell to the practice squad. Honestly, Le'Veon Bell was a bit surprising. Because Le'Veon Bell just wanted a bigger contract than the Steelers were offering him. So he just sat out. And requested a trade. He got traded to the Jets. Where he played awfully. 
Then he got released and joined Kansas City mid-season, where he actually played quite well. But then, at the end of the season, he was talking about how he never wants to play for Andy Reid again. And keep in mind, Andy Reid is one of the most loved coaches in all of football. So, I didn't expect Le'Veon Bell to be signed. I thought his career is done. He's had three tries now. Most players don't get a fourth. Most players don't even get a third. But apparently he did. Now it's only the practice squad, which is also a bit surprising because you'd think if they're going to sign Le'Veon Bell, with the year he had last year, he deserves to be on the active roster, I think. But apparently the Ravens coaching staff and GM do not think so. Now, last night, to replace... Gus Edwards. They signed the former Saints RB, Latavius Murray. Now, Latavius Murray is really good. He's a great running back. Not quite sure why the Saints released him. I think it might be because he's like almost too good to be a backup and his contract was quite a bit. He's older for a running back. I think he's like 29 now. So I think the Saints just said Tony Jones is good enough and we have Alvin Kamara. We don't really need Latavius Murray. So they released him and he got signed to a one-year deal with the Ravens. So he will, I'm assuming, be the lead back in Baltimore now. And it will be quite interesting to see him. I think he's a really good running back. So I think he will do well in John Harbaugh and Greg Roman's system. But we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.